Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to my classic car. Well, this week, I'm down on the Mississippi Gulf Coast for Cruising the Coast. Man, I love this event. I used to always say it runs all the way from Bay St. Louis to Ocean Springs, but they added Pascagoula this year. I'm telling you, there's so much going on down here. It's a party. That's what they say. It's a party. So let's get around and party. This is Dennis Gage. Yep. Woody, so great to see you again, man. Dennis, awesome to have you here. Thank you for being here. 21? We, have, we are now legal. You are now legal in That's every right. state. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. We're man, good. You know, I just love this event. You know I love this event. Yep. I've been coming here since number three, so I've only missed the first two. Well, and I ain't missing anymore. No, the, the, the first two were a little on the small side. We're at 8,308. You this broke 8,000 today. We broke our record. Wow, that's, we broke we, our record you've from last broken year. broken a record almost every year. It's amazing. It is. We're in Ocean Springs today. I love this venue. Super. But you've got so many venues. We've added Pascagoula right. as another venue. So that's that's a, that's a neat town just to the east of where we are here in so Ocean Springs. So that's beyond Ocean so, Springs. So now you right. go from the bay, from Bay St. Louis, now all the way to we Pascagoula. Do. We got so many things going on, you know, with the flame throwing event. We had a big burnout event in Pastor Shan last night. So there's just so <laughs> much stuff hit, that we've it? got happening, you know, with the swap meet, the auction. You guys put on, I think, the most unique show in the country. Well, you know, this is a driver's show, as you know, and that's the appropriate word for it. I mean, you get to use your vehicle here. You don't go sit in the field somewhere. You get to have fun with it, rev it up a little bit, a little burn bit. a little rubber every now and then. <laughs> and we did it, with, like I say, last night without anybody getting any tickets. So, so it, you know, it was fun. And, and you know, the people here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast are really, to me, our secret weapon. That red carpet is rolled out. People, we treat people right here, and you everybody do, just has man. a great time while they're here. Thank you. You All just right. made our trip. <laughs> I mean, if you look up Southern Hospitality and Dictionary, there's a little picture of cruising the coast. This is it. It is my favorite show. Super. <laughs> Glad to hear that. We appreciate your being here. <laughs> well, let's go check out some of these cars. What do you say, man? All right, let's do it. Let's, let's do go. It, well, Greg, this is a car you don't see very often. This is a '67. Chrysler Newport? Correct. Newport yes. Custom. Custom. Yes, sir. I'm not sure I've ever seen one. It's sure been a long time since I have. It's a body style that just isn't around anymore. Very rare. Have you had it long? Well, my mom and dad bought it originally new in California. In, 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 in like in 67? 67, wow. brand, brand spanking new. It was originally white with red interior. Okay. <laughs> white wall tires, hubcaps, the whole works. Well, it's, again, I mean, it's more unique than most hot rods. You just don't see this body anymore. What, you got some pretty big wheels on it, too. What are they? Yeah, those are 18s in the front by 8s, and then they're uh, 20 by 14s in the rear. Wow. Yes, sir. That's pretty that's big. A, that's a meat back That's there. a meat. <laughs> what a cool color, too. What's the, what's the color? Lexus charcoal gray. A lot of flake and, in it. And, and kind uh, of a rainbow, too, isn't it? Yeah, I love gray, and this is just something I really wanted to yeah. do. Yeah. You know, with the pinstriping, you've got you got a lot of interesting stuff going on here. Yeah. Plus, the front end in general of this car is, is pretty distinctive. But, man, she's straight. You must have done some work on that. Did she come with a vinyl top originally? Original vinyl top. It's the original It's the original vinyl? vinyl top. Wow. Yeah. Not the original interior, though, man. No, sir. Not at all. So, it's really cool. What are the seats out of? The, the seats are out of a Toyota Supra. The back is original. Uh -huh. Of course, everything else, the vinyl just changed and went from red to the gray. Man, the carbon fiber console. Yeah. That was wrapped. I, I like the gauge layout, too. I mean, yes, I think sir. you really, man, you did it up nice. Great roof line, though. I mean, she just looks, and, and really, the lines of the car in general are really quite sharp. It's got some nice body lines. I like it. You've blacked out. We blacked out almost everything. That was the right call. Oh, man, I, I mean, love it. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it looks, you know, it also looks pretty serious underneath. What it's is, pretty healthy underneath there. What's the exhaust? Well, it's a three-inch exhaust from the headers to two and a half. So wow, 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 wow. And your uh, badged 440. Is that what you still run? Yeah. Let's go look at it. Yeah, okay. It's pretty healthy. Wow, she's pretty under the hood, too. Yeah, you can't do one without the other. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not the original engine, is it? The original block. Seriously? Yes. Oh, Seriously. man. Uh, block and, and crank, but uh, as far as rods and pistons and heads and all the other goodies extended that. All yeah. the best of the yeah, best, had, new stuff. Had, had, this baby, your parents bought it with a 440? Yes. Your dad was a hot rodder. Well, it was a hot rodder, and when I'd get beat with my, my little hot rods when I was in teenage years, I'd come and get my mama's car. and. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Mama had, Mama had a bad machine. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he did. Yeah. 
hood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, you feel it. You that's hear, a, you hear that's a feel big hood. Yeah. So, '67 Chrysler Newport Custom, Custom, then customized. Yeah. That is a fine car, well, man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate Very you nice. so much. You know, so Jerry, I'm cruising down the street. I say, oh, there's a big 75 Caddy. Nice, like Caddies. I get by and I look back and it's, no, it's an El Camino. Wait a minute, it's the biggest El Camino I ever saw. This is an El Camino with a thyroid condition. What is this thing? This is a 75 Cadillac Caribou. I, did they make it in a factory? I never heard of a Caribou. It was a factory custom. It was ordered through a Cadillac dealer, shipped off to the Caribou Coach Company, and converted. Well, who was behind the design of this? Gene Winfield. This was a Winfield? Uh... Yes. Oh, I can see it now. I mean, that makes a certain amount of sense. So, it started life as a Coupe de Ville? It did. 75 Coupe de Ville. Right. And so from, like, the passenger compartment forward, she's a 75 Coupe de Ville. Yes. With what it looks like a 75 Coupe de Ville interior, basically. All right? the creature comforts of a Cadillac. And a caribou nameplate in the Cadillac... In Cadillac script, script. yes. Very uh -huh. nice, very nice. But that's where the Coupe de Ville stops. So from, she, they cut it here? Yeah, from the roof to the tail is fiberglass on top of the quarter panels. On the bottom, it's, it's still steel. steel. So how about the roof itself? The roof is fiberglass. It's glass also. Wow. Yeah. So did it have this great looking wood bed? No, it had a fiberglass bed as well, and I have put in this recessed wood bed. Oh, it looks, it looks excellent. But you get back here, and you're back to 75 Caddy, right? Yep. How about the tailgate? The tailgate is fiberglass, and it is functional. So. I bet you've got something under the hood that's pretty special. Let's go look and see what you got. Okay. There's a long hood. Wow, so what do, what do we got there? Well, the standard uh, Cadillac 502, uh -huh. but I have uh, an Edelbrock intake, ported heads, headers, a nine inch Ford rear end, Edelbrock carb, and line lock. Whoa, so you don't ever do burnouts with this? Do you? Uh, I can be talked into it. <laughs> In fact, I heard you we're the champ last night, is that true? I was the People's Choice Award, yes. So it's, it smokes them. It does. It, it, it smokes them. It does. Close it back up, man. This is a beast. I mean, what a what a monster. So the caribou, did, it, did you say it was what, the cowboy Cadillac? It was the cowboy Cadillac. The cowboy the, I mean, you there got, are advertisements of them uh, show well-to-do cowboys with a, a mink-like saddle in the back. Well, 1975 Caddy Caribou the, 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 the cowboy caddy. The cowboy caddy. That's mighty nice, Jerry. Thanks for bringing it up. Thanks for sharing. Well, well Mike, <laughs> I love both of these. Cruising the Coast always has such wild stuff. There's, you can see anything here, even something like this. That's what we hope. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start here, because this thing cracks me up. This is actually a, a real postal vehicle, right? This is a 1956 mail route truck. Dodge. Dodge route truck. It looked pretty much like this. Have you shortened it or done anything to we it? We haven't done any body modifications other than put new glass in it and make it look fresh and new inside. Well, first of all, one, one thing you notice, because of course there's no paint on this, it's just, just rust, just right. patina. But, and if, can I? Oh, absolutely. I mean. As long as you got your techno shot. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But I mean, there's a, that's thick. That is right. That is thick. one heavy. And from the front, that is tow mater. It is all it's, the way. It is totally tow mater. What power is this? It, it's not the original running gear, is it? No, it's got a set on an S10 chassis and it's got a small block Chevrolet in it. Weren't these originally right hand drives? They were right hand drive, uh, stand up. There never was a seat in it, so you just had a oh, little. Oh, really? It was just the. Had a foot pedal and you actually just said wow. it. Oh. And yeah. what'd you say you're running? A uh, small block Chevrolet. And how do you get it in there? Uh, it actually has to come in from the bottom. Okay. <laughs> I mean, is this a heavy little thing? I mean, no, it's very light. Oh, in you're fact, kidding? It's really? probably about the weight of an S10, if not a little bit lighter, oh, actually. Man. But I, I got to tell you, this one here kind of cracks me up. This is uh, Bend Over's hardware. What was this truck originally? <laughs> this was a Jackson, Mississippi local laundry truck in uh, 1956. Also, did you do the same thing? Is it on a you know, an S10 or something? It's sort? on a modern C10 chassis. Okay. Uh, with a fuel injected uh, LS motor in it. This truck was a hunting camp when I bought it. it, it the truck itself was a hunting camp? Yes, well, I found it sitting on like 600 acres of property, sitting out in the middle of the woods, and it was sitting on the ground. It actually had a cot back here in the back and a toilet over there in the left rear. <laughs> and uh, because it was a hunting camp, did you kind of finish it out in hunting camp style? No, my father had gave me all of my grandfather's old working tools. Uh huh in his old workshop, so I just chose to make it a hardware truck. And two-man saw. That's right, and turn it all into just something uh, 
bring some of my grandfather back to it. Have you had it down to cruising the coast before? This is the first time. This and is the first uh, time this thing's been really seen other than one, one other car show. Oh my gosh. So, have, but you've been to cruising the coast before, right? With, I bring a different car every year. Every year. I mean, is cruising the coast about as much fun as you can have with your clothes on? I have been everywhere in this United States for every large car show, and this is the it best is, show. It is the period. best show. It is and at Ocean Springs, what a venue. Can't, it don't get no better than it, this. It don't get no better Absolutely. than Absolutely. So we got a 56 Dodge postal truck and a 56 yeah. International yeah. laundry truck. That's right. Yowza, I love it. Thank you. You're a creative thank you gentleman. For, yeah, thank, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Love it. Gary, man, this is nice. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> this is not the first time I've seen this car. Exactly. Where, it was a few years ago. Yeah. Here. N yeah, it was in uh, D'Iberville. It was in D'Iberville, that was it. And it sucked me in then. This is a 34 Buick. 34 right? Buick, 60 what? series. 60 series. It's just stunningly beautiful. And you haven't modified it much at all, have you? No, no. Huh? Just I mean, body-wise, it's like stock. What a great color. What is that? Cashmere silver metallic. My wife picked that color out. She's got good taste. Were these monstrous headlights all chromed out originally? Yes. Now, were these, what do they call these? Are these fog or driving lights? They are uh, trip lights. A trip? What does that mean? It's a, it's a driving light. OK. And I love the wide whites. And, and are those Kelsey Hayes, or what are your wires? Uh, them's uh, hot rod wire. And your interior is gorgeous, too, because it also is largely Buick. I mean, that's a Buick yes. dash, isn't it? Yes. Buick dash, been redone, the, all the gauges redone, even the uh, eight-day wind-up clocks Buick, all the bright work inside, the handles, they're all original Buicks, just been redone. And man, your wood graining is stunning. Is that all hand done? No, that is a wrap. You're kidding me. That's a wrap. These are the original seat frames and everything, yes, right? Yes, Even the armrests in back? Yes, oh. yes. Gary, I love this car, <laughs> man. These tail lights on these Buicks kill me because, again, that, that is a beautiful, piece of metal. That's craftsmanship. That is that is truly mm -hmm. craft. And Buick from this era, yes. that's a fine car. That's a man. fine car. And it had the Continental It had mount spare here. on it, yes. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. This would have been before the straight eight in Buick. What would it originally have had? Straight eight. Oh, it did? It have a valve in head, straight eight. A valve in uh -huh. head, straight eight. But you've upgraded that to something a little uh, bit more drivable? Oh, yeah. It's still it's still eight, but you four on this side and four, four on, on that, that side. side. Well, let's go have us a look at that. Yes, sir. Wow, yeah, you're right. There's still eight cylinders. They're yes. just not all in a row. That's right. They, they this way. <laughs> they, they this way. That's right. And that's sitting on a Nova Clip? What year? Uh, 68 through 74. And she grafted right on. Grafted right in there. Unbelievable. Caddy air cleaner, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So then with that Nova Clip, did this thing just basically drop in? Oh, yes. Oh, wow, yes. Wow, 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 man. This is just a gorgeous car. It caught my eye four or five years ago when I saw it. Did it again today. 1934 Buick 60 series. 60. Mm -hmm. Beautiful piece of work, my man. Thank you, Dennis. Appreciate you. Boy, is this interesting. Is this yours? Well, Jesse, uh, this one caught my eye <laughs> because I don't think I've ever seen one. It says Suburban. Yes. So I figured, okay, it's an early Chevy Suburban, but no, they're much bigger than that. It's a Plymouth it's a Suburban. Plymouth Suburban. 1952. 1952, that's right. I swear I've never seen one of these. I mean, she's a two-door wagon, which is Kind of impractical, kind of, it's more of a sporty thing. More of a sporty thing. But back in 52, Plymouth and sporty weren't usually in the same sentence. Not, not, not usually. <laughs> I, I'm thinking they were trying to accommodate people like me that love automobiles and the family, you know? But y'all got to pile in through those same two doors. Got to pile into the same two doors. And I see all of this hand wood grain. She's kind of a tin woody. I don't know if they ever did that, but I really like it. I, I think it goes good, it fits and, it. And you know, the interior is so, Plymouth. I mean, this is it's, like what she had to have looked like. It originally. had to have come that way. And, and just, these, I imagine, they flip over. Because that's the only way you can get in there. That's how you can but get how in. How about tricking up that dash? That's one of the things that got me is like, that's a lot of detail. Yeah, that's all hand wood grained. And all it doesn't look grain, like yes. the layout was really changed. I mean, no, that the looks... layout was not changed. I, it had some additions to it, such as vintage air and, uh, yeah. and your late model type uh, stereo system but they didn't take away anything to add it. Every time you go to a show, this has got to be the only one of them here, right? That's correct. I mean, I've, like I say, I've I, never I, seen one. I have never seen one either, <laughs> so up we, until I bought it. Yeah, you're like, oh man, I love that, right? Yeah, I love it. Well, I do that. <laughs> so it, that was it, you saw this and went, man, that's just too cool. It is. These are like, I mean, trunk hinges, like steamer trunk. They're stout. They're gonna keep that door up there. And she's clamshell? Can no. you open it up? Sure. 
So that goes up and it latches right here. Then you undo your latches. Oh gosh, <laughs> this big honking. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. And then you drop this gate down. Look at that. Well, great looking car. Probably would have come with a flathead six to begin with, but I bet you've changed that. Let's we did, look at we it. did. Let's go look at it. Yeah, that's no flathead six. What it got uh, a 350? 383. Oh, a stroker. It is. Yeah. So that was in it when you bought it, eh? That was in it when I got it. Looks like they did a pretty good job. They did a great job. Updated the master cylinder too, yes. I like that. It's the coolest little thing in the world. Two door, 1952 Plymouth Suburban. That's correct. From San Antonio. From San Antonio. Jesse, thanks for bringing it out, Thank man. You. Thank you, sir. I love it. Oh man, I love cruising the coast. There's just nothing quite like it. So come on down to the Mississippi Gulf Coast and check this one out. Hi.